Hi everyone, I'm Lambda Space. Welcome back to my channel for some X4 Foundations. And today, this is my first episode from a beginner's guide. The first thing first, there is no definitive guide for X4 Foundation. It's a sandbox game, so you're free. You could do whatever you want and be whoever you want within the game. I will show you how do I enjoy playing the game in the early stages. But by no means, this is the only way. I'm a builder. I'm an industrialist, I'm an economist, thus I play accordingly. In my games, I enjoy building a sound economy for all factions to thrive within the universe. I'll just let them fight each other for eons. I may or may not be part of their wars, if that fit my mid to long term goals. I could even decide for the fate of a faction early on and do whatever I can to destroy its assets. Whatever you choose to do in Xbox Foundations, you could achieve it. How do you do it? That's up to you. Here's how I do it. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like and drop me a comment down below. Tell me what you like and don't like and what would you want to see in the future. So what do we need? Well, a ship, we have that covered, a captain, that will be us, and about one or two one or two hours to get started. Vanguard. Uh, for that guide, I use the new gun start point. The others will do, but that was the, the first one uh, I selected. Our starter ship is modern enough to, to do the job. Uh, we have an engine, a booster, a shield, a somewhat long range scanner, and a basic weapon. So that's modern enough. First, let's find an asteroid belt that's big enough. And uh, we will there. We will hunt for uh, spark lights. Those spark lights are crystals, and uh, those crystals could be sold for for credits. So let's get there. Okay, there we are. So now we just look for some uh, some crystals. Uh, that the longest spot, I think, in, in the early games. No, there, I found one. I will just uh, approach and uh, use my fabulous aim. That's sarcastic, of course. I suck. I uh, <laughs> shooting those crystals. Um, and I spent about uh, maybe 45 minutes, one hour, doing that. Just shooting crystal, finding crystal in that in that belt. When the crystal is destroyed, just press O to drag everything. Uh, in your cargo hall and you're good to go to keep searching. So in about half an hour, 45 minutes, you should have enough to be build your first ships. As always, I am uh, extremely unlucky at finding crystals. So I spent a lot of time uh, doing nothing uh, and, and didn't find uh, any crystal for a long time. Then uh, suddenly I found about 10 crystals in uh, in a few minutes. So yeah, uh, I will cut on uh, rejoin you uh, after that. And we are back. That uh, last uh, crystal uh, uh, we'll uh, hunt on that day will be that one. Uh, I will destroy it, then uh, look at my uh, inventory to see how much uh, money do do we collected in, in about 30, 30, 35 minutes. Uh, I was uh, feeling that it was uh, somewhat longer, but only 35 minutes. So let's take a look. Here's our inventory, 2.7 million. Now that we have our crystals, let's head back to a station any station will do and we will uh, sell all those crystals to a trader and uh, yeah sorry about my flying skill uh, suck at ducking here we are hi miss Can I help? Here you go. could i sell you a bunch of stuff that i just collected please okay i uh, just scroll down a bit here's my crystals let's go and that one, that one, for a grand total of 2.2 millions. Not bad for half an hour job. Uh, I wish I could do that in real life. 
So thanks for your trade and uh, we will see what we could do from there. Now, let's select a wharf and build our first ships. So that will be some miners with very minimum preset. I will even uh, downgrade some of those presets just to be sure that he goes almost close to nothing. I had two scouts in the mix too, just to be sure to explore correctly the surroundings. While our ships were building, I went to do uh, some exploration in Dragon Prime. And uh, now that uh, they are built, I will use uh, the scouts and uh, I will send them to do some exploration uh, down in the uh, second contact the flashpoint. I will set them on a very complex path. Then I will do myself some exploration in Dragon Prime. The goal is here to find all those stations that uh, will buy or on Sodicon. Same and, uh, in the second contact flashpoint. I need to find all those stations. Since I found one in uh, Argon Prime, I will set uh, two of my miners uh, in the uh, auto mine in Argon Prime and uh, just forget about them for, for a while. After a few minutes, I found another factory that was buying a silicon. So I took my two adult miners and I set them to mine silicon in Argon Prime. And from there, I'm good to go for another couple of minutes uh, doing nothing, just doing some exploration while my scouts are exploring uh, in uh, second contact uh, flashpoint. Now, two solutions. Let those miners do their jobs and see the credits slowly getting, or hop back in your ship and earn some for more crystals, or do some very easy missions for quick bucks. With more credits you will buy more miners that will get you more credits faster to buy more miners you get it as soon as you have enough credit to invest in the new ship do it the more money you have the more you could invest the more you could invest the quicker you will make more money investing in ships in x4 foundations mean doing more money in early game at some point get into the highway that blue ribbon and get a ride around the universe until you come back to the original sector. That way, you will have a basic knowledge of who is around the ring, on where, on which sector to explore next. Oh, uh, do it what I did. I sent someone else to do it. I'm the boss, after all. Oh, and yes, uh, by the way, don't forget to put a satellite uh, very close to those uh, refineries you found in the, in the sector you explore. Most often, I send two to four miners per faction, the Argon, Antigone, all the other, and uh, the Paranids. Uh, Teladi and Ministry of Finance, I barely use them. But uh, for the others, I send two to four miners. And uh, I just check on, uh, on them from time to time to see they are still demand for what they mine in their sector. If not, I just move them from sector to sector. Uh, my scouts keep exploring to find all those uh, refineries for gas and uh, minerals that uh, my miners could uh, could help them. In less than two hours, uh, you should have around a dozen of ships. Uh, most of them will be miners and we will have a, a quite a good income, uh, passive income stream uh, in, your, in your wallet now. We are now at two hours into the game, since I let the game run for about uh, one hour unattended. Our reputation has raised further, thanks to my guys. We have now around 2.3 million credits while doing, well, nothing. <laughs> uh, I will just do a, a quick verification for the status of uh, each uh, sectors and adjust, uh, adjust the behavior of our miners and scouts. Okay, now what? We have around 3 million credits, a dozen of ships, and plenty of time to improve our activities. Our next step is to go up, to go up the chain. For now, we are just dealing with raw materials, minerals, and gases. We need to up our game a bit and refine those raw materials ourselves for our profits. For that, guess what? We have to invest even more. Ships are good, but they are just tools. And tools don't win the war. 
economy does. Let's see how we could do that. But it's not in that episode. We are out of time for this one. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and a like if you enjoyed the video. That will help. Until next time, my friends.